What is up, my little choochers? Midway Monster back with some exciting news. Ducati just had their uh, live premiere event for 2017 and uh, they released quite a few uh, new models, I guess you'd call them. Uh, well, for one, to start off, they released a 797 monster which basically shares the engine of the this mo this monster but a 796 as well as the scramblers uh, I think detuned slightly but uh, they have two new scrambler well first off why stop at the monster I didn't even finish talking about that anyways new entry level monster 796 Shares the scrambler engine. Cool looking frame, it goes kind of all the way back. Sticking with the monster aspect, they've got an updated 1200S monster. Uh, it comes in like this fart dust gray color, but it's got a whole new display, almost a display like the Panigales have. Color display, gear indicator, angle indicator, and it comes with all new uh, electronics as well. Basically the electronics that come in the 1299S with the wheelie control, the quick shift, uh, the cornering ABS, just pretty cool. The other thing too is like they they slightly tweaked the motor a little bit and they also tweaked uh, the dimensions and the ergonomics. So that's pretty cool. I did I kind of like the dust gray. I don't I don't know. It's it's kind of growing on me, I guess. Um, the Multistrada, they have like a lava gray. Now that one that one's a cool one. If it was as dark as the one on the, the Multistrada 1200S, lava gray, that's pretty sweet. I like that one. Uh, moving on down the line, Scramblers. They updated to have a uh, desert sled edition of a Scrambler. It's got beefed up uh, forks, suspension, all sorts of other components to make it a dirt bike, essentially. It's got the knobby tires, the spoked rims, stretch the legs a little bit the spoked rims and uh, all sorts of various other stuff that one's pretty cool I like that I think they're trying to bust into the uh, dirt bike supermoto market see how that one goes I like it I probably wouldn't get the white I'd probably get the red if I was in the supermoto market uh, I would probably look at that because I'm such a brand loyalist Goo! then they have a cafe racer scrambler that one looks pretty cool. Not much is different. I mean, it's just updated looks, basically. Same engine. Moving on down, there is the Multistrada 950, which is more of a affordable Multistrada. Instead of going for the, the 1200 or the 1200S or Enduro, you can get this 950. Basically has the same 939 engine as the Hyper Motards. Uh, that one's nice. I like that. That'd be probably a good option for me if I uh, wanted a long haul bike and I don't want to spend the whatever it is, 20000 for a 1200S Multistrada. Obviously, I don't know what prices are like, but I'm guessing it might be around fifteen, fourteen, fifteen thousand. dollars $15,000. We'll see. What else came out? Oh, yeah, obviously the new Super Legera came out. The 1299 Super Legera. That's pretty cool. Clearly, no average Joe is going to have that. I guess they're going to, they're expected to cost around 80,000 or so. Uh, maybe even more. I don't fucking know, but it's got basically carbon fiber everything, and it's just super light. I think it weighs like 370 pounds without fuel, something like that, which is absolutely insane for a 1300 cc bike uh, you know and it's got all the good electronics and all that and then some smaller things to note they they, they pushed out the um, Ducati certified pre-owned program which would be nice for people that kind of want to get into the brand and live the Ducati lifestyle but don't necessarily want to pay the Ducati premium price you know so I think that was a good idea especially you know if if you've got a good technician and they're all certified, like we do over at MCC, uh, you know, it doesn't make sense for them to not do it when they can do the 30 point whatever bullshit inspection and 
and get you a good price on it. I think that's about it. I can't really, my mind must be blanking or something. If there is anything more, let me know what you think about the, uh, the lineup, the Ducati 2017 lineup uh, in the comments down below and let me know if I forgot something too. Careful now. Anyways, quick update. Uh, if you haven't already, check me out on Instagram. I got some sexy pictures up there. And if you don't also already, follow Hello Cousteau, who's got custom helmet designs that are absolutely out of this world. I'm uh, pretty close with the guy. He says he might have some uh, meetings lined up with some uh, helmet manufacturers to be able to get his stuff produced. Let's hope that's the case because Dude, his fucking designs are baller! Shit! Anyways, go check him out. Hello Cousteau on Instagram. He's got Facebook and all that other boo shit. Here's the motorcyclist behind me and I didn't even know. I should probably stay, keep my line. But uh, yeah, anyways, check those guys out. Thanks for stopping by today. If you like this shit, hit a like button on that, uh, on that old little button down there. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the new Ducati lineup. I look forward to uh, more videos in the future. I'll chat with you guys soon. Peace.